Hello all, welcome back to the channel. This is B Square, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a drop test with the use of velocity factor. In my previous video, I talked about uh, how to make drop test with the use of gravitational height. If you want to see that video, the link is provided in the description and also I button. Okay, so I'm starting the video. Let me delete this one. Okay, so here you can see that. Okay, so I am doing the study. Click here new study and go down and click here drop test and click right. Okay, first need to apply material. Right click and apply material. I am choosing here. Uh, copper yellow in copper yellow i am choosing leaded commercial bronze apply and close now material is applied now go to setup right click define and here i am doing here velocity at impact okay so first i need to give a plan that is striking surface now make this one is reverse and here we need to write the speed of the bullet that is 120 meter per second okay now apply the gravity so i am taking gravity as a normal to the plane so click here okay now it's fine go down here you can see that this one is a friction coefficient so i am taking as a zero it means there is no friction right now okay so this is uh, for rigid target if i choose here flexible target so i i need to fill this all, all detail then apply software create uh, one target surface then uh, this uh, bullet will strike in this surface this one is for damping critical damping ratio you, you can say also it's uh, like as a jumper also now all uh, things are filled click right here now result option right click and define here you can see that the timing solution time after impact here the when the bullet uh, strike the surface that time what happened in uh, rear i am writing here 12 so it shows uh, what happened with uh, 12 microsecond with the bullet after impacting on the surface now this is for a graph also so click over track data sensor and click right okay now apply mesh right click create mesh and i am dragging the arrow to the left size course because uh, it take uh, less time to simulation now click right okay now mesh is applied okay run the study click here more here you can see that the remaining time of simulation 24 second is remaining okay we are close it shows the error that is large uh, unbalanced energy is detected slower is going to switch element type from uh, default to composite dragon and return to the analysis click right here and just cancel it determine study and click here no so i am just choosing one thing right click mesh create mesh and great uh, drag this one here now run this study
20 seconds is remaining ok now simulation is uh, completed here you can see that ok so we need to first check for displacement double click here right click and setting first uh, get here chart option down and make here floating ok fine ok here we can see that the scale is uh, true one gem one scale and this is second in the microsecond what happened uh, after impacting of 12 microsecond with this bullet ok ok now click right here right click and animate so here you can see that the compression happened with this bullet and this is only for 12 microsecond after impacting and uh, here we can see that the maximum displacement is uh, here 1.087 mm if you want to save this file you can save here save as a avi file now click right here and right click and uh, go to here setting here uh, choose this one as line ok now once more animate it oh, here we can get uh, some clear idea what happening with the bullet right now so this line is uh, indicating this value only ok now click right right click once more setting here and uh, right now do as uh, continuous and uh, if you choose the model to mess it shows uh, our uh, messing right if you want to change the color you can change it also messing line is orange right now now I am making default as a black ok right ok now click here check this item and get here single color so here you can see the gray color so this is your actual bullet length click here right once more animate it okay so here you can see that this is your actual bullet length and uh, what happening after the impact so length is decreasing or we can say bullet is compressing to front side now click right right click here and once more setting now I, I am choosing here none so all things are disappear this is the transparency of uh, our main object ok now go to here and uh, you can choose this icon so right now this is the default value that is maximum click right here so here you can see that the value is change the starting is not a zero zero it is some change right now click here once more and uh, get the value is a uh, minimum click right here so here you can change the minimum value and uh, above side also this is the minimum value right so once more if you want to just change it to default this one is a default now click right here ok so this is my displacement 
what happened with uh, 12 microsecond after impacting the bullet so here we can see the displacement here you can now click right and if you want to see stress here you can also see the stress okay fine now to see the diagram right click result and get here define time history plot click here okay so i want to see what happened with this point or with this node to click here okay this node is 143 click here 143 and uh, this is the axis x and y axis so i choosing time as x axis and uh, displacement is the y axis okay click right here so it shows the diagram what happened this is the my starting point starting time is uh, 0 0.47 that is microsecond and this is the what happening with the time with this point was okay now cancel it now choose a second point right click here edit definition right now i want to see what happened in behind this face now click that is 191 click here 191 and the time versus displacement okay click right so here you can see that the starting time is uh, 0.47 and it's it's in micro second and this is the displacement what happening with this note and with the timing so it's going upside okay so once more i just need to check one more element so that is i am choosing this one that is six node number is six and time versus displacement okay click right here you can see that also the same things is happening we cancel it now double click on displacement okay so this is the how this uh, drop studies work with uh, velocity factor okay so okay so like share and subscribe our channel to more video thank you for your timing thank you all